Imagine you being the only one to survive a plane crash with limited items. Can you survive on a remote, lonely island for almost a month? Good day to you. Hope you've had a good day. Let me introduce myself. My name is Jishiny and I'm here to tell you all about my amazing survival plan on Snake Island. I've divided my presentation into seven parts, which are how I crashed on Snake Island. Secondly, the items that were available on Snake Island, ways to get food and water, how I found shelter and warmth, as well as safety, how I felt after being home, what I did after being rescued, and what lessons that I've learned while being stranded here and going through this wild adventure. First, let me tell you how I got onto Snake Island. Well, it all happened when I was on my way to Tokyo Disneyland. When the weather turned from good to bad to worse. Before you know it, the plane was descending crazily. Then, the plane met the ground furiously with such force and power that the plane broke into pieces big and small. After the impact, I woke up and started to search if anyone survived, but sadly no one did. Then, I went around to see if there was any items I could use. And I did find some that were a bottle of wine, a loop earring, a camera cable, dead crabs and monkeys, a thick rope, a shoe box, a, a fuselage, a cigarette lighter, a machete and bottles of water. Then I found some coconuts laying around from where I was and I cut it open with the machete as another water source to drink from. For food, I had to eat the crab and monkeys along with the coconut flesh. Then, for shelter with the, fu the fuselage, the grove, and with a sturdy tree, I made myself a shelter that kept me safe from danger. But by evening, I was shivering. So I took the cigarette lighter, the shoebox, and some rocks to to build a fire that kept me warm. Whenever it started to rain, I'd run to the nearby cave that kept me dry. A month later, I suddenly heard helicopters in the air. And I started waving my hands frantically around until they lowered the ladder for me to climb. After I got home, I felt happy and safe. The lessons I learned on Snake Island was that we should never give up even though we think we are not strong enough and we should be brave especially when times get tough. What I did after being rescued is I took a shower, ate and took a nap. That is the end of my presentation. I now open the floor for questions. Does anyone have questions? Yes? going both up and down as for well, they are everywhere anyone else no is that all okay thank you so much for listening to my presentation and have a great day